Muhammad Hamid Ansari in his last speech as the Vice President of India has made some interesting comments. Now, Ansari dwelt upon pluralism and secularism and went on to say that a state which eschews intolerance distances itself from extremist and illiberal nationalism. Now, Hamid Ansari also pointed out that the version of nationalism which places cultural commitment at its core is usually perceived as the most conservative and illiberal form of nationalism and that this promotes intolerance and arrogant patriotism. The version of nationalism that places cultural commitments at its core is usually perceived as the most conservative and illiberal form of na nationalism. It promotes tolerance and arrogant patriotism. So that is what Hamid Ansari had to say that nationalism which places cultural commitment at its core is usually perceived as the most conservative and illiberal form of nationalism. And to discuss more on this, we are joined in by our political affairs editor, Kartikeya Sharma. Uh, Kartikeya, now Hamid Ansari in his last final address as the Vice President of India has called into question what is dubbed as cultural nationalism, where he's gone on to state that this form of nationalism is what is perceived as the illiberal form of nationalism. See, it tells us a couple of things, that the debate on nationalism is not dead. Hamid Ansari, in his last speech, also clarified the position he held on this debate, which he could not earlier because he was the vice president. And any opinion on part of him would have been uh, held in partisan on this, because he, is a, he was a Congress appointee, UPA appointee, so the BJP would have politically attacked him. But for Hamid Ansari in his last speech to say that uh, is it in complete contrast with the sort of uh, uh, nationalism which BJP projects. BJP and RSS openly says that there is nothing wrong in cultural nationalism. Mr. Ansari on the other hand has taken a different approach. He says that the cultural nationalism represents uh, an illiberal trend uh, when it comes to nationalism which breeds uh, arrogant patriotism. Now, that the, these are matter of debates. You know, in many countries, you have constitutional nationalism, you have civic nationalism. In certain countries, you have religious nationalism, for example, Pakistan. Or there are certain nations which breeds a strong cultural nationalism, which is uh, far more, rather than being based on uh, religion, they are based on uh, common cultural issues, common cultural strands. And uh, for example, Southeast Asian nations, where both religion and culture are mixed together with different ethnicities. But issue is that in India, the debate on nationalism has divided political spectrum. And on this issue, both political parties have, uh, principal parties have taken a different stand. So I would say that this is, this is not going to go with a whimper. Uh, Vice President, uh, the outgoing vice president, because the new vice, uh, pres vice president elect has not taken the oath, has made it very, very clear as to where he stands when it comes to the issues of patriotism, cultural nationalism, or uh, I would say the, on the or, or on the issue of cultural uh, the debate which took place, which which actually emanated from uh, uh, JNU, which we called. Uh, where, where, where certain ideals of military, where certain ideals of uh, valor of uh, army are uh, wedded to the ideals of education and uh, value earning places like universities. So, you know, th 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 these are different times. Like, for example, uh, the VC said that why can't we have a tank? So, a lot of people said, what, what does tank has to do in a university? But many people said, he, he said that, you know, he just said, use the word tank, but he never placed a tank. But many said that, you know, Gandhi spun. Uh, the spirit of nationalism on charkha and it did not require a gun to spin nationalism so ultimately this is about where this country wants to be absolutely indeed Karthikesh. now considering that we indians take pride in unity in diversity and culture is a very complex thing the problem is in a country as diverse as india there are several forms of cultures that we all adhere to and with that being the case you know a debate on what is being dubbed as cultural nationalism where some people are saying that, look, this is more a sort of cultural imperialism which is being projected as a form of cultural nationalism. So is this what the debate 
which Hamid Ansari has sparked off in his last address as the Vice President. Yes, it has in a way, but you see, one has to contextualize it. It's like uh, it's like uh, Saleh, it's like politics. You know, everything has a circle in 70s and 80s. You had uh, socialist politics dominating the Indian landscape. Now, uh, if you look at the Indian landscape post 2010, uh, there is a uh, you know there is a great uh, I would say there is there is a very strong Hindu consolidation. Mm -hmm. which 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 takes a great uh, strong objection to minority exceptionalism when it comes to social sector or foreign policy sector or uh, I would say uh, uh, political approach of a state towards domestic and international issues. Now in international context you can see the way Prime Minister uh, de-linked, de-hyphenated Ramallah from uh, Jerusalem. Or uh, for example the way Uttar Pradesh voted, the biggest uh, state in India there was not a single minority candidate from Bharti Janta Party. Absolutely. So it is in this context we have to see because you see the, the, these are these are these are pers these are cultural or these are academic constructs through which you construct a nation. You see a nation, but then there are lived realities below which counterbalances what has been conceived as before. Absolutely. Like for example, the word secular was not part of the constitution till Indira Gandhi imposed emergency and uh, inserted the word. But was India not secular in 60s or 70s? So the debate is uh, far more complex than it is. But what Mr. Ansari has done, Saleh, hai, that he has taken a position and participated on the last That's day. That's absolutely correct indeed. Karthi Sharma, do continue to stay on with this. The debate over nationalism, cultural nationalism will of course continue.